Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to Fear 2. Let's go ahead and pass through here. We're still looking for Genevieve Aristide. And dealing with uh, whoever these guys are that are trying to fire mode selection. Oh, I guess that just means changing weapons. Let me see what they mean by that exactly. Fire mode selection. Some weapons have adjustable fire rate. Hold left bump or hold left bumper to bring up arsenal selection mode. Highlight the weapon and press right stick or left stick. Press right stick or okay. I need to read. Highlight the weapon and press right stick, left or right. Okay, got it. To switch the fire mode, they, their wording was bad, so I need to hold. Ah, okay, I get it. Submachine so gun. Okay, I get it. So burst fire. I guess uh, oh, that's one at a time, and then full auto. I see. Okay. Um, I refer. All right. Okay. What the pistol doesn't have anything? Proximity mine, incendiary grenade, frag grenades, and shock grenades. Okay. Looks like I maybe I can hold four weapons because I got four slots, and only two are filled. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with full auto for now. You know, it kind of kicks around a little bit. I wonder if I'm a silent protagonist again, or if ever, or if, or if I actually ever say anything. I haven't, I haven't said anything so far, so I'm gonna guess probably not. So machine gun, more frag grenades. I can hold three frag grenades so far. What if I can only hold three? If I can only hold three mad kits. What if I can only hold three frag grenades. <laughs> All of these little fuck ups get over there and deal with this shit. <laughs> okay. Great way to motivate your uh, your your soldiers. Call them fuck ups right off the bat. All you fuck ups, get over there and deal with that shit. <laughs> Who's calling who a pussy? Haven't uh, try. I, I haven't tried scoring headshots yet, so I don't know if headshots count in this game. Armor. Oh, there's a nice little stage up here for a little uh, band. At least they have a little uh, cover here in case it's raining while they're playing. This is kind of a cool little thing. Wade Ele Wade Elementary? What the hell? Did Harlan, Harlan have his own school? <laughs> okay, that's locked, so I can't go through it even if I wanted to. Uh, okay... Uh, some kind of inaccurate reflections there, but oh well. Again, again, it is a mid two thousands game, or, or mid to late. It's not a Xbox One uh, quality. Really, that's that's all in there. Can't even break the glass. I'm not sure there's glass there. Could already be broken. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Wonder. Okay, now. All right. Uh, open up. More weapons. All right. And pick up grab. All right, I can hold four frag, frag grenades. All right. So I can hold more grenades than I can med kits. Uh, okay. Hi, enemies. Chuck. That's, that's not the right button. <laughs> that's the Chuck button. All right. Alright, uh, crouch. No, crouch. There we go. Crouch down here. Alright, that's what I wanted to do. You're down, and your buddy's down too. Alright, sneak over here, pick up all this ammo. Uh, health kit. Very nice. Okay, I guess I can stand up now. Alright, nothing. 
I'm not running into much resistance. Me neither. Guess they're all going after Bucket. Bucket. Thanks. I'm now called Bucket. Alright. I see another med kit over there. Like. And more weapons. Okay, we've got here. Just a Nope, I thought it might be an intel thingy. I guess not. Ooh. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't see me. I uh, will now crouch and we'll zero through this door. That is locked. Never mind. Alright, so let's try. Okay, it said. Oh, crap. Um, which one's grenades? God damn it. I don't want to throw a grenade by accident. Okay. <laughs> I had to guess I wanted to change this to single shot mode. I didn't want to accidentally throw a grenade. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, it is burst fire. Okay. Not single shot, but burst fire. Okay. Alright, crawl up. And... Where to now? I gotta jump over to that? Ugh. Well, looks like they kept the same uh, leg animations. They don't They don't turn with the body. They just spin. <laughs> or they, or they don't step when I turn. <laughs> At least they kept the, foot, the same foot animations. Okay, I made it. Oh, shit. Oh, good. It's unstable. Something tells me I should get the fuck off this thing as quick as possible, but I'm not sure where to go. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? I'm getting off. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. I was afraid he was going to try to, like, break, and I was going to fall, and I would have been dead, and I would have been sad, and then I would have been mad, and... Probably would have yelled fuck a few times. Uh, duck. Light. Into the vents. Yeah, this is a common fear theme. Alright. Okay, you don't see anything here. Going into the red area. Oh, they good. Things got blurry. That's good. Did something just go across the screen? I didn't see it. I saw, I saw, I think I saw something, but I didn't. Like, see it, see it. You know what I mean? Right? I don't know if I should turn my... Why is my light flickering? That's not good. Is my, li is my light on infinitely, or is it going to run out of battery? I still like the fact that it's flickering. That's really disturbing. I know that's not blood, but the fact that there's red lights in here, it really looks like blood. And that's really, really disconcerting. Especially considering I know what this game is. What's this? Oh. Pool, th pool cleaner thingy. Oh, fuck. It went in the water. Wait a minute, where's my... She's been in there for 12 years. Spoken in darkness. What? I just picked you up on the security system. Okay, that was less... That was less star startling and more just curiosity. What the hell? What did I see? What the hell was all that? Okay, I'm more confused and startled. Okay, now I'm disoriented. Where the hell was I? And where... Okay. I came over here. Okay. All this wasn't here. This was all, like, walled off. So it was, it was pitch black. So I jumped over here and... Okay. Oh, fuck. Now what? Oh, okay. That one I didn't miss. That was Alma. Mm-hmm. So nobody going to tell this guy what's wrong? This guy's not going to say, you know, we're going to figure out what's wrong with his head, why he's seeing Alma, even though, you know, he's not Point Man. <laughs> he's not Fatel. Why does Beckett have a link to Alma? Why is Beckett seeing Alma? Of course, it would probably help if I knew what point, in, what point in time this was. Are we still dealing with... Uh, is this pre- or post-explosion? Is there... I still don't know exactly where in time we are as far as the story. 
believe it's supposed to, then it's supposed to be happen after Fear Files, but I don't know exactly how far after Fear Files. Right after it, years after it, moments before it, health full, and I'm full on health packs. What's in here? Nothing! Checkpoint. I think headshots do count. Damn it. Oh yeah, headshots count because that was one that was just a short burst and I took him down. Ah hell. Oh upstairs. There we go. Uh let me uh let me try the pistol. Maybe I can be a little more accurate with it. Especially if I gotta score headshots in order to get kills here. Here's an intel item. Genevieve, the board of directors has reviewed your report on this morning's massacre at the Perseus compound. Perseus mandate reference. And the crisis unfolding at our Fairport HQ. Frankly, it's exactly the sort of transparent finger pointing we've come to expect from you ever since we went ever since you went behind our vax and reopened the vault. Now I do remember in in Fear One some phone calls that mentioned the Genevieve going to either opening or try to open the vault. I don't remember the details about it because, again, it was from the, one of those phone calls and there was no captions, so I couldn't catch everything. The cost of your monumental stupidity and arrogance can't be calculated at this juncture. It is the board's view that the entirety of our Fairport operations is a total loss and that you are solely responsible. Your excuses and scapegoating do nothing to change the fact that you personally instigated this disastrous course of action. Expect your official notice of your termination shortly. Carson Salyers, Chairman of the Board, Armacam Technology Corporation. Carson Salyers, that's a new name. I've heard that one before. Alright. Nice, uh, again, nice little view right here. I like, uh, the, I like all the cars. I don't think you saw any moving vehicles in the first game. Alright, submachine gun is full. Alright. Here, nothing. Nothing. Locked, yeah, locked, okay. So my objective is obviously up. Here we go. Hi! And I completely missed. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was bad. Didn't even really startle me either. It's like door open. Oh, okay, there's an enemy there. Alma, you're too whispering too quietly. I can't hear a word you're saying. Let's read this intel instead. To do, call Senator about accelerating Harbinger's schedule. Get lab results from Terry. Do page Dr. York for operations. Go to bank. Remove necessities from safety deposit box. Pack overnight bag. Don't forget contact lens case. Place EMS helicopter on standby just in case. All right. So we're going to find Terry at some point. Is Terry going to be the uh, the Norton Mapes of this uh, of this game? Something bad's about to happen. Uh, screen's getting fuzzy. Alma is playing with a picture. Alright, what is this picture she was playing with? Oh, she turned on the the uh, music box. Which totally isn't creepy at all. You know what, I'm going to go back to the sh submachine gun. That did, uh, did, did not do too well with the pistol. I'm doing better with the submachine gun. What a nice little apartments these places, these, these people have. I do have a question. Why is it on their, why are their TV monitors... Are we looking at uh, security cameras? Okay, nothing happening here, so I can't like move anything, click anything. All right. We're now in the bathroom. 
Oh, good. Uh, they have a, so they have a bathtub and a shower. Okay. This is a really nice place. And they have a TV in front of the toilet. Sure. Wow. Okay. So I need light. It's really, it's really, really dark in here. Think about maybe turning up the uh, brightness in the game, so maybe a little bit easier to see. I don't know if that'd do any good or not. Okay, so what did this do? I came in here for what reason? Did I maybe take an optional path and go the wrong way, or? Okay, I am about to say I'm lost. Is I trying to do something with this? Okay, yep, I was supposed to do something with that. This can't go on. She's too dangerous. You're telling me to seal my daughter away. You knew it would come to this. We both knew. Oh. By closing the box, it opened a secret passage. Okay, let's check it out. Why not? Eh. Intel item. Info, Sergeant Beckett. Personal record, Michael Beckett. Sergeant, rank Sergeant, submitted by York MD. Paragon review scores, physical condition, outstanding, mental stability, outstanding, telesthetic potential, outstanding. Notes. Subject struggled in school, but has excelled in the military. Furthermore, his Paragon scores are the best I've ever seen, aside from the origin prototypes. Point Man and Fatel. With uh, with telesthetic amplification, he might even surpass fac surpass Pax and Fratell. Great. Harbinger status approved. So I've been approved for the Harbinger program. Oh boy. Sergeant First Cast Keegan. Record Harold Keegan. That was the guy that got shot when he, on the elevator. Rank Sergeant First Class. Paragon review scores. Physical condition outstanding. Mental stability average. Telesthetic potential, excellent, not outstanding. Note, subject has excellent ac academic and military service record. The telesthetic potential is well above average, but his mental stability is a concern. Recommend four-month evaluation schedule as opposed to the usual nine months. I shall note, subject's telesthetic signature is already 83% synchronized with Alma's. Further attunement may not be required. Harbor your status approved. Okay, what the actual fuck? So how how do they already? If I'm not in the program, I mean, what are they like? Obviously, I'm not volunteered into it. I'm pushed into it. These are the members of the team. I think I'm on, aren't they? And is that me? I can't really. I don't really make, remember what all these guys look like. Or is that Jankowski? I can't remember. No, I think that's me. I think that's that, that's Beckett. Uh, that's the uh, that's the head guy. That's the sergeant guy. I think they call him Top. Uh, I think that's Jankowski, maybe, or is that Jankowski? I'm really not sure. I would actually get a good look at my uh, what? How should you say partners that were along with me? I did notice one thing that's that's not in the that's not here is there's no. Uh, um. Oh, good. Creepy door is just closed. There's no uh, uh, slow mo. Fuck. Sergeant Beck, where's the rest of the team? We don't have much time. You and your squad are the only hope of stopping Alma. <sighs> There's no slow mo mode here. Is what I was trying to say. I can't slow things down to get advantage like in the first game. So that's Genevieve. Huh? Yeah, we. I, I know how this works. I've seen this. I saw this from the first game. Oh my god! Oh, this is this is live. I guess. I guess what we're looking at is a live video of uh, of him releasing the of releasing Alma in the first game. Genevieve just vanished.
I'm afraid to move. But I think I have no choice. Otherwise, something's, otherwise nothing's going to happen. Let me guess. Someone's going to jump out at me. I'm going to end up shooting it like a creepy guy. And I'm going to end up killing Genevieve by accident. Should I just leave? I guess. Jump scare coming. I know it is. What? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Something really, really bad is about to happen. I'm going to scream like a little girl. In here? No? Out here? Oh, oh, look. Long, narrow hallway. With, uh... Something there. Oh, wow, I can't aim. Look, look, look at my reticle. Wow. <laughs> I just cannot focus that thing. Is that Alma? Hi. She got up. Oh, good. She's running away. Okay. That's good. I don't want her to come near me. Or something else going to come around that come out of that door. I don't like this at all. Down the stairs. God damn it, just do something already. The stress is getting to me. Who the hell said that? What the hell? That's Alma over there, isn't it? I don't want to walk up to her. I don't have a choice, do I? Oh, God damn. Don't walk so fast, dude. Well, I, I don't. Well, I'm being pulled in. I don't want to walk up to her. No. What the fuck? Okay, things just went bad again. Oh, that was the explosion at the the. That must be the exp. That's the explosion at the the origin facility at the vault. What that uh, point man did. Okay. I, at least I'm fairly certain that's what that is. At least now I've got an idea of what the of the storyline now. This is this happened right at the end of Fear One, and right about now there's a helicopter flying away from the uh, explosion site with uh, uh, Holiday, Jen, and Point Man on board, and Alma crawling in right about now. Who are all these guys in the suits? Oh, there's Genevieve. Okay. Complete. Sanctuary. Your, uh, your mission was interrupted by a catastrophic explosion that seems to have originated in the Auburn Industrial District of Fairport. Right. That's where, it was, that's where the uh, building was located. The, uh, it was uh, Auburn. The extent of the damage is impossible to estimate. The fate of your team is a mystery. Oh, good. I'm sure everybody died. I'm the only one to survive. And I'm going to get the shit fucked out of me by Irma. Uh, Irma? Why are you calling Irma? Alma. Almost going to scare the shit out of me the entire game. One moment. Hold the light again and check his pressure. Damn it. Grab the crash cart. You could be in beef. Charge to 200. No. No, make that 300. He's alive. But we're moving too fast. We, we need to... That did it. What about what are those visions? Attack a car. We need to stabilize before progressing. Am I visualizing them visualizing somebody tearing the shit out of me or something else? You're putting set to three hundred. You'll feel a little pinch. I bet I won't. Yeah, that's little. Oh, there's almost to your right, by the way. Oh, that was ugly. At least I'm still in my uniform. At least I still got my cool glasses. 
Are those are those, are those the uh, Google? Uh, are those the new Google glasses? <laughs> well, at least Stokes is alive, and Griffin's alive. And I have no weapons. Objective added. Find a weapon. Convenient. All right. Oh, there's a trash bin over here. Can I pick this up and just throw it at somebody? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty strong. Uh, can I just bitch slap somebody with a rolled up newspaper? Or a rolled up magazine? Because there's one of those here. I now take anything as a weapon. Press into... Oh, intel item. All right. Memo. M. Beckett. Memorandum. And Beckett Recovery, Room 102. Patient Beckett recovering from surgery at unprecedented rate. Vitals are nearly back normal. Dr. York has been paged and should be here soon as he's done with a final activation surgery. If patient wakes up in the meantime, explain that he was medevaced from Blastone. Do not let patient leave room. Well, guess what I'm doing? I'm leaving the room. Fuck you. Trying to think about it. It's probably a bad idea. I should probably just go back to the room and stay there. I. Who are you? I see you. Are you a person? Are you an Alma? Or are you a thing? If you're a creepy thing, I'm going to be really, really pissed. First time we're going here. Uh, I use a pineapple. Oh, that's not a pineapple. Never mind, I thought it was a pineapple. <laughs> Never mind. I thought this uh, plant here looked look, first look like a pineapple because that brown thing on the bottom. I still got a flashlight. Oh Jesus! Here it goes. Yep, that was Alma. Yep, it wasn't a creepy thing. That was just Alma. That's okay. That, that's sort of okay. Alma always means bad things about to happen, but at least it wasn't a creepy thing. Aw, oh, damn it. Now what? Oh, I should follow her. If I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to follow her. No. no. I'm going to go the other direction. Why is my phone making noise? What's in here? Anything? Anything useful? Weapons? Intel. <sighs> first Sergeant Griffin, Archival File Project Harbinger. Subject name Cedric Griffin, rank First Sergeant, submitted by York. Paragon Review Scores, Physical Condition, Outstanding, Mental Stability, Excellent, Telesthetic Potential, Above Average. Notes, Exemplary Academic and Military Service Record. Based on Mental Fortitude, Subject has a reasonable chance, I'd estimate a 20%, 25% probability, or 20-25% probability, of enduring the actualization process without severe cognitive regression noted in failed candidates. Arbiter status approved. Okay. So, so far, me, Keegan, and Griffin have all been approved for uh, Paragon, the Paragon program. Whatever the hell that is. Alright. Sneaky in here. Med kit. Oh, I lost all my med kits. I just never realized that. I'm not carrying any med kits anymore. That sucks. Am I going to do that after every every level progression? Every time we level up, i got to go get my med kits again? What about weapons? Am I going to have to lose them every time, too? Do I keep defaulting back to a piece of shit pistol? Or am I actually going to get good gear and keep it? Did I already come in here? I think, I, yeah, that's where I saw that uh, notepad. Yeah, that's where, okay. So now i got no choice but to follow Alma. Great. Can't wait. Right, there's double doors there. Uh, I can go in here. I, uh, no. Is there like a way in the, from the side? Nope. Okay, can't go in there. Uh, can I jump over the... No. Okay. Uh, nurse. Open the door. Oh, here's how we get back here. Okay. Breaking news. Explosion of unknown origin in Auburn. Death estimated in the tens of thousands. Wow. Edwards declared all schools closed. Okay. It's currently 77 degrees with a low of 52. Or it's a high of 77 with a low of 52. Okay. 
Makes us comfy outside. Despite the explosion. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hmm. <sighs> okay. Anything on here of interest? No. Alright, uh, down here. God damn it, what? Is that telling me I'm taking the wrong way? Oh, pfft. I'm going to the men's room? I'm going to the women's room. Okay, fine. That's a good way to keep him going to the door, just not letting it open. Fine. Look this way, I guess. Can I grab a drink? How about I punch a drink? Oh, what the hell? Do I actually have slow mo mode now? I'll be damned. I do. Okay. I didn't know about that. Okay, I can't open that. Somehow I punched this one and that one broke. Go we'll figure. Okay, well, at least I, I am sort of like Point Man. I can slow time down. I don't have a weapon, and I'm still uncomfortable. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't like it when things get slow. And I didn't cause it that time. I didn't trigger that. Eh, open the door! Open the door! Eh! Ah, oh, fuck. I keep the wrong button. Can't punch it open either. And the motion, the motion blur just adds to the creepiness. Oh well, at least it's a nice clear sky out there. I guess the explosion wasn't that bad, or at least I'm in a different area with this nice clean, nice uh, clear sky. Uh, wait a minute. Through here, or through here. Go this way first. That's a bathroom. Okay, sure. What the hell? Did something fall or something? I heard like a falling sound. Intel. Jankowski. Archival, fi archival file harbinger. Red Jankowski. Paragon review scores. Physical condition outstanding. Mental stability average. Telesthetic potential above average. Notes. Poor academic record and competent military career marred by occasional reprimands. Subject was first identified as potential Harbinger candidate after elder brother Spencer was recruited for first encounter assault recon active duty. Okay, so this is not the same Jankowski from the first game. The Jankowski from the first game was in the fear team. This one is just part of the, uh, the special forces. Okay. I don't expect that he'll become a viable telesthetic, telesthetic commander, but he could be useful in a research capacity. Harbinger status reserve. Okay. So it's not the same Jankowski from the first game. Alright. That's interesting to know. Glad I found that. Uh, let's continue into the long creepy hallway. Where creepy things are going to jump out at me. Scare the shit out of me. I'm going to squeal like a little girl. I'm hearing some weird sounds. I don't want to open those doors. I don't want to go any farther in this game. Oh, can't open those doors. Oh, stuck out. Stuck, shit out of luck on that one. What? What's that hanging up there? Oh, there's a light. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, hey, another intel. Here we go. Uh, surgical notes. Transcription. Dr. Samuel York surgical notes. The first three activation surgeries appear to have been a resounding success. The fourth patient, Red Jankowski, is still in pre-op, but the others are recovering in separate wings to minimize pre-conscious telepathic interference with each other. Once they're fully awake and stable, we'll begin the attunement process. Michael Beckett in particular is proving uncommonly resilient. We were sure we'd lost him twice on the table, but then he stabilized through no action of ours. I'm sure. Oh, great. So Alma deliberately saved my life somehow. 
Thank you, phone, for reminding me that the clock's changed tonight. You know, jump! Well, there's something I've seen before. Twice. Once in Fear 1 and once in Fear Files. Wish I'd actually been looking at it a little bit longer, so I could have seen so it have been a little bit more, you know, dramatic, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so you're a doctor who died. Okay. I need to go up those stairs and find out why he was thrown off the edge. Yeah. And I will do that in the next episode of Fear 2. Can't fucking wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links into this video for more of my stuff. And thanks again so much for watching. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.